channel. This week for you guys, I'm doing a romance novel binge number five. Okay, so I haven't done one of these videos in a while, mostly because I've been trying not to read, because I've been trying to write, but I've been actually making really good progress doing both. So, before my binge gets any more ridiculous, I'm going to go ahead and just throw what I've read at you guys now, and then that way when I start reading more things, it won't be as overwhelming for me or for you guys. So we're just gonna jump into it. In the last few videos that I have done in between since my last binge, um, you'll know that I started the Dream Maker series by Vivian Arend and Elle Kennedy. It's about three ex-rangers, military rangers, and once they get out, they decide they wanna use all their like recon skills to help guys who are basically like dating inept. So they like, guys find them and they hire them to like plan these perfect magical dates for them and then hopefully they get the girl kind of thing. The first book in the series is called All Fired Up and it's Parker and a girl named Lynn. So Parker is, he's like kind of the, the head honcho kind of guy, um, or at least it seems like it for most of the other stories. Um, but they get hired to set up a engagement proposal for this guy who they think is pretty shysty. And they do recon on his girl and while they're doing recon, they find out that she dumped him. So they're kind of like, all right, well, so much for that. But the catch is that Parker realizes that he likes her. And so once he finds out that this douchey guy that he didn't like anyway isn't in the picture anymore, he kind of makes his move and then the story just kind of goes from there and unfolds. Book number two is called Love is a Battlefield and it's actually between one of the other guys who work there. His name is Jack Hunter and he actually has a thing or he's had a thing for Parker's little sister Pepper since they were younger. They've been friends forever. And now she's all grown up, she's out of college, she comes back, and he kind of like, all these feelings start bubbling up again. So that story unfolds. And then the last book is Dean. And I feel like they always save kind of like the bad boy, the guy who like is never gonna be, like you can't win him over kind of thing because he's the like forever batch. So I feel like he's always last in these series, um, like these types of series. Um, but his name is Dean and he actually ends up this girl comes back into his life who he met through a mutual friend. When they were at a party, he realized that she was friends with her and he meets Emma who he was actually with when they were younger before he left for the Rangers. And so this whole like them rekindling kind of thing happens, but it's very comical. It's very funny and just like their personalities together like cracked me up the whole time I was reading it. And so I really, really liked the series. It was definitely um, a lot than the, some of the other romance novels that I've read just because most of the other ones that I've read are like the new adult ones so it's kind of more like low-key stuff but this one got a little intense which was kind of fun um, and interesting but yeah. After that series I read Music of the Heart by Katie Ashley. It's the first book in the Runaway Train series um, and it stars Abby and Jake Slater. Um, Abby is getting on this like tour. She's supposed to, they like meet at this big like music convention kind of thing. Um, and she's supposed to be getting on her brother's tour bus to go on tour with them because one of her brothers is leaving to go like be a, like be in a fam, like basically start his family. So she's gonna take over as like lead singer for the group. And um, she can't find the right bus. So when someone takes her, to the bus she thinks she's getting on her brother's bus and really she gets on runaway trains bus and she meets Jake Slater and he's like this bad boy lead singer of another band and he's kind of a jerk and honestly like this book I liked it but I wasn't like in love with it like I was some of the other books I've read just because it seems so extreme like Jake would be like super like douchey he would do like the worst things and like yeah I guess she's kind of supposed to be like very into like forgiveness and giving people second chances and stuff but there are just some things he does that I was just kind of like there is no way I would talk to that guy ever again so it was a little too far-fetched I guess for my liking but I still really liked the story because it did have its cute moments and I love the cute um, but there is another, the, there's a whole series. I ended up going and buying the second one. It's technically 2.5 because there's one before. Um, but it's basically once all of the fun between Abby and Jake continues. And so I bought that one, but I haven't actually finished reading it yet. I started it and then I got sucked into reading the next series that I'm going to talk about. Um, I got sucked into reading The Ivy Years. Now, 
The Year We Fell Down is actually the other book that Chrissy from Chrissy's Book and Makeup Nook recommended to me when she recommended The Deal by L. Kennedy. So this is the second series that she recommended to me and I absolutely love this series. It is so good. I'm just gonna need her to start recommending like all the things that I need to read because this series is amazing. But The Year We Fell Down is by Serena Bowman and I really liked like not just this one but all of the books in the series. It's so good because it's not just like this like I mean of course there's like this amazing love story but there's actually like real like things going on which is kind of nice so it's like you're not just like oh it's a love story it's like there's actually like real life like things going on which is really nice and refreshing I think to read about. So all of these books in the Ivy years I really liked because you have the whole like hockey element again like I did like there was in the deal and I love the deal so when I realized that this series also was like the whole hockey thing I immediately wanted to read it also because it's just so good. Um, but the first book in this series, The Year We Fell Down, is about two people who have both kind of like had injuries and they're kind of being held back from what they really love to do and they kind of bond over that which I really liked and then the second book, The Year We Hid Away, is two people who are both very much hiding aspects of their life and unbeknownst to them their commonalities kind of drive them together which is really interesting. And then understatement of the year, you have two guys who were very good close friends in like middle high school and then something really terrible happened to both of them and it's they one of them moved away and it was very much like they both had very different reactions to what happened and their lives drastically changed based upon the things that happened to them and it was just really really good to read. It's such a good read. And then I also went back and read its um, book 2.5, it's called The Blonde Date, and it's actually Scarlett's roommate and Bridger's like neighbor, bathroom neighbor. Um, it's them setting them up for like a um, sorority party thing and then just how their little interaction unfolds, like this girl who she just got done by her dumb jock boyfriend and this guy who he, he knew who she was and he liked her and so for he's kind of like dorky which is really cute and he kind of like it's like his dream come true kind of night thing and she's like oh my gosh this guy is actually really sweet and so seeing their relationship was really cute and then the last book that I read most recently is called Operation Prom Date by Cindy Madsen and this book is so adorable it kind of reminded me of um the original premise from the deal so I think that's why I enjoyed this a little bit more it's um, a YA romance novel um, but it's really cute it's really adorable um, and it definitely put me more back in the mindset because today forever by Monica Murphy comes out and the most recent thing that I've been reading that I'm currently reading right now I'm actually filming this it's Monday um, but I'm currently reading More Than Friends again because I wanted to prepare myself for all of the Tuttle and Amanda love and the cuddles with Tuttle and just all the things and I wanted to be prepared. I didn't want to be reading forever and being like, wait, what happened? Because literally More Than Friends was like 35 books ago that I read. So at this point, I have to like write down whose name is what story and just try to like keep it all straight in my head because I've been like zooming through them all. Um, but you can be assured that what I'm doing right now as you watch this video is reading forever by Monica Murphy. Um, but yeah, that's all the books that I have, that's all the books that I have been reading and binging on lately and I'm sure there will be tons more to come. Um, I'm trying to kind of separate these videos out a little bit. Not so much so I have like seven books to tell you about but so I'm not just like binge, binge, binge. I want to like break it up and give you guys some other things. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this binge. If there's any of these books that you would like to know more about, just comment down below and let me know and I'd be happy to share my book knowledge with you. Um, and if you've read any of these books and you want to talk about how amazing they are and how much you love these characters, I would love to do that with you too. And if you have any books that you think I should read that sound like some of these books, I would love to know that also because I am currently at a loss for things to read, even though I have a lot of things that I would like to read. But yeah, that just seems to be how it always is. Always a TBR that never ends and always so many more things that you just have to read. So yeah, um, but I hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!